thanks for tuning in my channel. I hope everybody's doing really well. So today's reading is what happens if you wait for them and what happens if you reach out first, okay? So first I'd like to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel, who has liked and shared. Um, thank you so much for that. For those who have um, followed me over to Vimeo, I appreciate it. And um, even for those of you who have sat through one of my ads, um, or one of the ads that YouTube plays on my video, I really appreciate you guys doing that. Even if you just sit through one ad, that makes a huge difference and helps to keep the channel going. So thank you so much for doing that. And so let's get started. So for option one, the pink cluster crystal, it's option one. For option two, we have combination of stones here. We've got this beautiful yellow stone and the red jasper, it's option two. For option three, we've got green citrine and black tourmaline, it's option three. And then for option four, we have amethyst and quartz crystal. It's option four. So pause the video if you need more time to choose. Um, the timestamps are in the description box as always. You choose using your intuition if you get five to ten minutes into the video and find that absolutely does not resonate. Feel free to choose another option or another reading. Um, also, if you're drawn to more than one option, that's fine too. If you'd like to be guided through it, I'll do it now. So go ahead and close your eyes. Take a nice deep breath in through the nose nice and slow. And out through the mouth nice and slow. And when you open your eyes, the first um, option your eyes goes to is often the right one for you. So again, that's options one, two, three, and four. And I'm getting started with option one. Thanks for tuning in. Welcome option one. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody's doing well. I'd like to thank those of you who have subscribed to my channel. Thank you, thank you. And those of you who have liked and shared my videos. Also, double thanks to those who have followed me over to Vimeo. I appreciate that. And for those of you who have stuck around to watch at least one ad that does help to keep the channel going, thank you for that as well. Received some very nice comments um, on my last video. I really appreciate it. that's what keeps me going. Thank you. And also those of you who have tipped me, that's fantastic. I appreciate that as well. I'm drinking a coffee from one of those tips right now. So for those who have chosen option one, what happens if they wait for their person? Option one, think about your person. Angel spirits and guides, what happens if option one waits for this person? if option one waits for this person. We've got the seven of wands. We've got the king of pentacles. Four of wands at the bottom of the deck. So your present energy option one is wanting to wait for this person, but you're not waiting passively, you are waiting actively. So if there's any competition for this person's love, I feel like you're making yourself competitive in some way. If there are obstacles that need to be overcome here, you're overcame, overcome here, then you're working to overcome those. Get the sense that some of you have a really fiery sort of go-getter spirit. You're sort of like a warrior energy. Someone here is a warrior energy. Now recall that um, this is a general reading, so energies could be flip-flopped. If they are, just go ahead and flip-flop the characters to fit your situation. But I am getting someone is overcoming obstacles here, ready to to battle on, thinking that if they stick it out long enough that eventually they will receive, you know, the achievement of their goal, which for a lot of you is to be with your with your soulmate, to have a passionate and stable home with somebody, somebody that makes you feel at peace, feel content, feel at home, someone that you want stability with. 
somebody they have a lot of passion for. And it's a true sense of um, holding on and, and trying to trying to make that happen. So let's see. Um, let's see your energy. The viewer's energy. Yeah. So we get the six of wands in reverse. So it's like there has been blockages and delays to this connection really getting going. But you are definitely a warrior. You are definitely a fighter, regardless of your sign. You have got um, a lot of passion for this person. I feel like, you know, at the moment, that passion could be subdued, held back. Um, and if you're waiting, you know, if you wait for this person, it's going to continue to be that way. But again, this is validating this message that you feel that, well, many of you feel this person is your true love. And so you feel like if you keep on being persistent, if you keep battling on, that eventually you're going to, that you're going to achieve something with this person, that you're going to attain your goal of being with them, of having contentment and commitment with them. Okay. But you do realize that it's going to take more work. It's already been a lot of work. And it's going to take more work and you know this. But you feel like it's worth it. You feel for some of you that spirit is guiding you as to what to do. Spirit is guiding you to continue waiting for this person or continue doing whatever it is that you're doing to compete for this person or to overcome the obstacles that stand in the way of you guys being together to get through um, the delays in this connection. Some of you have a lot of faith in your ability to get past any delays in this connection because I see like there needs to be a new beginning here, but um, there's something standing in the way of it. It's like you're right on the brink of having this new wonderful beginning with this person. You can sense it. But um, there's something, getting, yeah, something getting in the way of it. person's coming across in you know a fiery energy as well towards you I feel that you know your person could be dealing with others whether that's another romantic interest or there there's interference from from friends or there are others around who are interfering The two of you could be engaging in an ego battle of some kind and it's caused no conflict and disruption in the connection and it's because you want to change here you both want to change but um you know both of you could be being a little bit self self-absorbed you know wanting your way in the situation i feel that your person is really trying to think of a way to um, to cooperate with you. I feel like behind closed doors during this period of stagnation or no contact or whatever it is when they're not with you, they are sort of trying to meditate or figure out how to move forward in their life in a positive and constructive way. They could be... Um, you know, they could be preparing so like if you if you wait for this person you know the work that you're putting in on the connection the challenges that you're facing with this person continue to exist however this person is um, then able to prepare in their own way to cooperate with you here to face the obstacles that they're facing in terms of being with you 
if that's another person or something else, they're facing those obstacles. We've got four of wands again. We've got it here. And we've got it here. So I feel like if you wait for this person, the, the best that could happen here is this four of wands. It's getting what you want, okay? If you want um, a stable and loving home with this person, to be with this person in a real way, to for some of you to be committed and married to this person, then I feel like that happens after a completion of a cycle of, of facing obstacles, of dealing with conflict or competition, of allowing this person, you know, the space that they need to, you know, figure out what in their life they need to sacrifice and let go of and what in their life they need to work past and work through this is a way of you guys you know sorting out your differences in the obstacles in the connection and preparing for preparing for union preparing for comfort together happiness together That's very positive option one. So let's see what's the worst that could happen if you wait. Okay. I feel like, you know, if you wait, you could be continuing to feel thwarted in love, you know, longing for and missing, you know, your heart's desire, missing this new beginning in love, this opportunity to really feel all these wonderful emotions, the emotions that you're gonna feel when, when you have this person, when you reconcile with this person, when you guys share your love with one another, you're gonna be missing that, longing for that. We've got the star card though, and to be honest with the star card here, in terms of, you know, what's the worst that could happen if you wait for this person? Um, the worst that could happen is that you're healing, that you are um, getting grounded in your energy as well as in touch with your emotions in a balanced way. It, it's um, making this person you know, view you as wish fulfillment, view you as the light at the end of the tunnel. Um, you feel that way about this person as well if you wait. Maybe you already do, but you're going to continue to and feel it even more. There's like a sense of deepening of emotion between the two of you. It's not like there aren't, um, you know, ups and downs. In your energy you know if you wait for this person especially if you've already been waiting for a while but you handle it beautifully and so um, you what's the worst that can happen you heal and um, you can sit you continue to look forward to to reconciling with this person Okay, you continue to look forward to having that um, passionate, stable union that you're wanting. And, and they're viewing you the same way. They're looking forward to that as well. It is the motivation that helps you guys to get past your obstacles and to, um, I'm getting, get your egos in check, uh, learn to cooperate. It helps you to learn to cooperate. It's that motivation for that motivation to come together as a couple to make any necessary choices to flesh out what it means to be partners together 
And so the outcome is um, the King of Pentacles. It might seem very hard to believe, but You know, if you wait for this person, you get yourself somebody who is um, who is offering you and providing for you a stable and mature relationship with um, a lot of you know financial material abundance, as well as you know nurturing and sensuality as well. So it does bode well for the stability that you are wanting in the connection. You know, if you wait for this person, it's looking really good. So I'm going to get you you know, a message from this person real quick, and then we're going to ask the question, you know, what happens if you reach out first? of option one waits for this person to reach out and what do they have to say to option one I know I screwed things up and honestly I have no idea how to fix it so yeah there is some forgiveness that's needed in the situation and your person is meditating on that trying to figure out you know how to how to fix things between the two of you they could have let, again, other people interfere in this connection. Or, you know, fought with you over something petty. Just take it how it resonates. Let's get another message from this person. I replace lyrics with your name. So yeah, waiting for this person gives them the opportunity to reflect on um, what needs to happen here. It gets them in touch with their emotions and their passion for you in a way that motivates them to wish upon a star and then work towards that wish so that you both can have, you know, stability together. And at the bottom of the deck, we've got fuck what your friends think. So somebody's friends you know, interfered in the connection. Whether it be your friends or their friends or a combination. Yeah. So I'm going to go and start. Let's see. I'm getting a little bit behind schedule here. So what happens, you know, if you reach out first? As it stands, it looks really good for, you know, just sort of waiting for this situation and continue doing what you're doing, which I feel is actively waiting for most of you. But we'll look at um, the next question. Well, we'll start this question and then I'm going to take it over to Vimeo here. If you like the video so far, please hit the like button. And um, if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing. So what happens if option one reaches out first to this person? What happens if option one reaches out to this person first? Four of Pentacles, Three of Cups. So at present, like if you were to reach out to this person I feel like um, the emotions would be being held back. Somebody's focusing more on their stability and building a strong foundation. Let's get some um, tarot cards. I'm getting like, if you were to reach out to this person it would be from a place of fear or a place of lack.
And yeah, viewer, you um, got the moon card. Somebody could be a Cancer or a Pisces or have that energy regardless. Yeah, what I was saying about the place of lack, being in fear, this is what I'm getting here for you. So if you were to reach out, I feel like um, it would put you in your feelings. Subconscious fears would come to the surface that would make you feel a little unstable, um, would require you to sort of um, reconcile and, and rebalance um, your um, insecure side with your secure side, your fears with your, with your hope and your optimism. Those would become um, challenged. And the path forward would be a little bit uh, more confusing, a little bit more shrouded in mystery and illusions so that you um, are feeling that to get to the happiness that you want with this person. You have to feel a lot of un uncomfortable emotions. And this is how, you know, reaching out to this person would make you feel. We've got the Queen of Cups in reverse for your person. So I feel like, um, It would put your person in a vulnerable position as well, okay? It would make your person feel a little bit unsure, unsure of what they want, unsure of how they feel. They would sort of be reflecting back your feelings to, to you. Where you're sort of feeling like you are um, feeling very vulnerable I feel that your person then also feels vulnerable they could be um, prone to being manipulative with you or taking advantage of the situation in some way got the strength card in reverse so if you were to reach out first, it puts you um, at a disadvantage. It feels like um, you'd be having to wear a mask or it would trigger your person to have to wear a mask to um, avoid exposing their vulnerabilities, showing their fear. Um, so it's like they are trying to be stoic or you're trying to be stoic um, in order to, to cover up the deep insecurities that reaching out would cause. So I'm going to take this over to Vimeo. We're going to see what is, um, you know, the, the worst that could happen if you were to reach out. Also, I'm going to look at the outcome and pull another message from your person card and, and love oracle as well. So if you'd like to follow me over there, please do so. In summary, though, I feel like it looks really good if you continue to actively wait for this person. To be honest with the Three of Cups in the outcome for if you take action, while I feel like it's probably a bumpier route for you to take, one that triggers more deep emotions and subconscious fears around um, how you guys feel towards one another, I feel like ultimately, um, you know, you could still have um, a positive outcome there. So. That's what I have for you. We'll look into it deeper on Vimeo. And thank you for tuning in. If you liked it, please subscribe. If you subscribe, please hit the bell so that you can receive notifications when I upload a new video. And I will talk to you next time. Welcome option two. Thank you for tuning in. I hope everybody's doing well. Let's go ahead and think about your person. Angels, spirits, and guides. What happens if option two waits for their person? I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who has subscribed, liked, and commented on my channel. And for those of you who have followed me over to Vimeo, I appreciate that so much. So for option two, 
what happens if they wait for their person? What happens if they wait for them, please? For option two. Right, option two. So we've got the King of Pentacles. So somebody here could be an earth sign or have, you know, those qualities or traits. That's Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Somebody could be good at business or have the potential to be, could be very material or money minded. Um, it's like if you wait for this person. You would be doing doing so from a place of stability perhaps some of you are doing okay with your money some of you are feeling pretty grounded right now what happens if option two waits for their person please and if that doesn't resonate for you then that's your person's energy remember this is a general reading so energy can be flip-flop so just apply it to your situation as it as it resonates yeah option two um, might be your person who's the one that's feeling more more stable more grounded because you're coming out in the tower in reverse energy Scorpio energy either you have narrowly narrowly missed um, or prevented an accident or some sort of total upheaval or you're trying to avoid an accident or an ending or an upheaval or a major change here the tower card maybe some of you um are afraid this person is going to break up with you Or there has already been an ending in the connection but you're having difficulty you know moving on from it or learning lessons from it or making some changes somebody's having difficulty making necessary changements changes or adjustments to their behavior or the beliefs that led to some sort of unstable situation well someone here is showing up as as being pretty comfortable or being pretty steady the situation itself and you viewer in particular might be having a like a crisis of um, a crisis of conscious or conscience might have taken a blow to your ego in some way shape or form trying to recover from that so what about your person yeah, your, your person's coming up with the strength energy Leo energy so your person they're feeling strong they're feeling they're feeling okay whatever ups and downs you've had in this connection they feel like they have um, the strength and the confidence to to get through it I feel like maybe your ego has been wounded or triggered but um, this person's pretty balanced within so you know they could be sense sensing that there's an ending coming or something major about about to happen or has happened and so they're just fortifying themselves they're bracing themselves for impact if that's the case they are calming their own fears they are trying to um, have the courage to face any obstacles or challenges in their life. And this is definitely around relationships, around around the heart. 
they're taking heart. Where you're, um, where you're losing faith, okay? So this is what is happening, right, if you, um, if you wait for them. If you wait for them, they feel like they're in a position of strength. You feel like you're on the verge of losing it. You're losing faith while they're just riding out the storm and fortifying themselves for what's next to come. If you like the video so far, please hit the like button. And if this is resonating, please let me know in the comment section down below if you would like to. So what's the best that could happen if option two waits for this person? What's the best? What's the best that, that could happen? <clears throat> the Empress in reverse. That's Libra Taurus energy. Regardless of sign, that's the energy. So the feminine in this situation feels burnt out. If you wait for this person, you feel, yeah, you feel burnt out. You feel like you maybe have been putting too much effort into the connection, that your efforts have not been appreciated or reciprocated. If you are married to this person or committed to them, you especially feel that way, like um, you're doing all the work here. Maybe you're you're having to work outside of the home and then come home and take care of the children and this person, and it's it's burning you out. There's this energy of the burnt out caretaker. So if you wait for this person, it's like you get you get burnt out on waiting. You stop. Some of you stop taking care of yourselves. Sometimes some of you get depressed. Okay. That's the worst that could happen if you wait. And what's the best that could happen? What's the best that could happen? Spirit of option two waits. We've got the six of swords in reverse. So it's like you're stuck between a rock and a hard place here. If you wait, I get that you're gonna be, um, like I said, feeling burnt out, like you're trying to avoid an ending or trying to um, do damage, damage control on maybe your self-image. Whereas I feel like your person is um, They're more focused on, on their money, on learning, on the material, trying to get ahead. Um, they're a little bit sort of oblivious to your struggle. So if, if, um, if you wait, it's like you're not allowing yourself to move forward to a place of healing. You're not allowing yourself to move from a rocky situation to a smoother situation. Um, if you wait, there could be a trip that's delayed, but it's definitely talking about delayed healing, continued um, sense of feeling stuck in an unhappy or unsatisfying, unfulfilling situation for you. You could be feeling like um, you know, you're being like you're being taken advantage of, like this person is um, just taking from you. They're certainly like living in your head rent rent free. If you wait, if you know that, if that makes sense, this person's living in your head rent free. So like they're stealing your mental energy. Also, um, for some of you, if you wait, you might become, um, you know, paranoid that this person is, is going to cheat on you or sneak around on you in some way, or you might be tempted to do that. It's not going to apply for everybody. So I feel like, um, 
you know the jack of the jack of pentacles is the outcome for for this spread so i i see that um while there is you know mutual caring and for many mutual love between the two of you this person just continues to be able to be a little bit childish a little bit um just sort of focused on you know doing their own thing um in terms of like whatever interests them their extracurricular activities their um their money their work i feel like they're trying to they're trying to learn they care about you they want to be of service to you you know if you wait for them they they want to give back to you but I feel like it's gonna take a long time for them to be able to give to you to the same extent that you have given to them or that you will give to them through waiting. Because, um, you know, this person is, this person is a slow person, <laughs> slow and steady. Um, and I feel like, you know, however they're being is not satisfying for you and um you're wanting more action you're wanting more expression of emotion and this person instead is just sort of absorbed in the practical details of life you know so if you're waiting for them it's going to take a while for them to get back to you to the same extent that, that you are investing in this connection and it's taking a toll on you as a person i'm saying okay so let's look at um couple of messages from your person I need my space and alone time If you wait, this person is um, continuing to be more self-focused. Sometimes I still let still let my ego get the better of me. So this person is um, letting their ego get the better of them. But I feel like this is for you too. If you wait, then. Um, then you're letting your ego get the better of you and you become disgruntled here. And let's get a card from them, another card for them. Dealing with a difficult situation. So, um, yeah, I feel it's just becomes difficult for you. This person might be dealing with a difficult situation, you know, in this connection or at, at work or something as well. Um, this could be the reason that they need their space and alone time. They're the type that retreats when they're under pressure, but I feel that they're handling it well. I feel like they're probably handling it better than you are if you were to just wait for this person. Okay. And at the bottom of the deck, I swear it's not personal. So yeah, there's something else that's distracting this person, but you're taking it personally, okay, if you wait for them. So I'm gonna get started with um, what happens if you reach out to them first. I'll start this here and finish it on Vimeo. Angel Spirits and Guides. What happens if option two reaches out to this person first? Actually, um, that's the tarot. I'm gonna use playing cards first. happens if option two reaches out to this person first? We've got the five of cups or five of hearts. And then we've got the six of, six of wands. So six of wands says that there's, um, if you make a move here first, 
I feel like it's gonna still take a lot more work, but um, you're gonna feel fairly confident that you are gonna have victory in this connection and that you're gonna get what you want. Some of you think this person is your true love, okay? I feel though that if you reach out first, you could be um, disappointed at first, upon first reaching out. Yeah. You could be feeling like, um, with the judgment card in reverse, confused, you know, as to how, how to how they respond to you. You could feel critical and judgmental towards whatever response they give you if you reach out first. We've got more pentacles energy. So somebody here is definitely an earth sign. Um, if you reach out first, I feel like there's a chance that this person, oops, could, um, step up their game a little bit and while they're still really slow and offering you something solid I feel like they will give you a solid response so they could um, give you a gift or I feel like they will respond to you for sure if you reach out first this person could be um, Capricorn or you could Okay, so yeah, what I'm seeing here um, so far, option two, is that it's looking like it's, it's better for you to reach out first to this person, okay? But I'm going to take it over to Vimeo and we'll see what's the, you know, best that can happen versus what's the worst that can happen if you reach out first. We'll draw some more messages and love oracles. So if you'd like to follow me over there, please do so. The link is in the description box below. And if this is where we part ways, thank you for tuning in. I appreciate that. Um, please uh, subscribe if you'd like to, you know, hit the bell, hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload a new video and I will talk to you next time. Welcome option three. Thank you for tuning in. Hope everybody's doing well. So go ahead and think about your person, angel spirits and guides. What happens if option three waits for their person? What happens then? like to take a moment to thank everybody who has subscribed to my channel and those of you who have purchased personal readings from me and extended readings from me thank you so much option three what does what happens if option three waits for them what happens if option three waits for their person what happens got the full card and the three of pentacles so there is a want for a new beginning in the situation you know if you were to wait for this person it is in the hope that they will take a leap of faith and come towards you it is in the hope that um, fate will step in and allow you guys to communicate or bring clarity to you in the situation you're hoping that this person is thinking about you, is feeling your connection. Um, some of you feel like you are fated to meet this person or that they're a soulmate. And so you just really want them to um, take a leap of faith and come towards you. You know, your hope in waiting would be that they would do this, okay? Somebody could be dealing with an Aquarius. the nine of pentacles in reverse so if you were to wait for this person it's this energy of being a little bit um, 
dependent on them, right? So you're not really standing in your in your power. You're not really um, by waiting for them. It's like you're taking a really passive or lackadaisical approach. Um, I do feel like by waiting, it you know puts some negative thoughts in your head about the situation, um, maybe about this person about like why are they taking so long why are they being passive towards you um it could make you know you feel argumentative towards this person when they when they did communicate with you and it's like um it's holding you back okay to wait for this person it's preventing you from reaching your potential in terms of like your happiness your self-empowerment your attainment both materially um, and just as like just as a person yeah and their energy is that while they have romantic feelings for you, they are um, feeling restless and impatient, okay? They could be feeling restless and impatient towards you for not coming towards you, some of you, this person. If you're waiting for them, then they're waiting for you. And there's restlessness here. I feel like by waiting, um, there is like a lack of growth in the connection. Um, the connection then is mostly like a spiritual connection. I feel like it tests your faith and your faith in what you think this connection is to wait. I feel like there is a desire on your person's part for a positive change, a desire to have romance with you to offer you something or come towards you um however you know they are not um emotionally you know stable enough to do that if you wait so it's like they're just um sort of being restless feeling restless and um having difficulty you know getting serious, having difficulty focusing on their work or their money. Could be you you both have that energy if you wait for this person. So we've got um, judgment in reverse. So what's good about you know waiting? Somebody here is a Capricorn. What what's good about waiting is that it does sort of um, give you guys the time to think about what you really want here, the time to make any decisions that need to be made and to um, realize you know where you're being inflexible where you're being narrow-minded or where your person is being narrow-minded and inflexible for you it um, helps you to you know understand you know the ups and downs in this connection and in the way this person has made you feel and makes you feel it um, does create, you know, fluctuations in your emotions to wait for this person and for them. It creates, you know, this desire to, to finish this time of waiting, this desire to make a decision, to um, come towards you, you know, if that's what they decide to do to see you know how they can have a stable relationship a mature relationship with you how they can embody someone who 
has enough to offer you, how they can bring stability and commitment to the connection. So it does get them assessing that. Queen of Swords wanted to drop out. So as far as like, what's the worst that can happen from waiting? Somebody um, walking away from the situation. Maybe you viewer, especially if you're a feminine, but you know, it could be either one of you. It's a general reading, so apply it how it fits. Um, if roles are reversed or it's vice versa, then you know, take it that way, but this is the way I'm getting it. The worst that could happen is somebody could, you know, um, make a judgment about the situation that goes against the connection. Somebody could decide to cut this out. Um, somebody is, and again, I'm getting, it's, it's for the viewer, for a lot of you, deciding that, um, you know, you're tired of stagnating, you're tired of lack of growth, you're tired of, um, this not moving forward, of not having a new beginning, of this person not taking a leap of faith. Um, and so you're just going to decide to focus on your career and on your own interests and only deal with people who, um, you know, support you, who are on your team, who really show you their um, commitment to your common goals, your common interests. And so I feel that... Um, yeah, you could go you could go cold on this person and walk away from them. Decide that this isn't what you really want after all, and that there's something better out there for you. Okay. And with the three of pentacles as the outcome, for if you wait for this person, I feel like um, on the one hand, this could result in you guys see you know striking some sort of a compromise this could end you guys up in um, in working together okay in working together maybe already work with this person but I'm talking about working on the relationship together in such a way that um, is you know satisfying and um, a peaceful resolution for both of you okay so this is if you wait, and let me get um, messages from your person on that. I'm getting like, if you decide to cut this person out you know you guys are going to agree to disagree but if you decide to um, hear this person out then um, then you could collaborate on the relationship in a positive way that um, could work well for both of you so you know if you were to cut this person out their message to you is we will cross paths again so if you get tired of waiting and um, cut this person out, or if they cut you out, you will cross paths again. So they're not letting you go that easy. Please keep taking good care of yourself. So, um, you know, if you decide to put yourself first and decide that this isn't the best situation for, for you to be in at present, um, then, you know, your person does, you know, have well wishes for you. They want you to take good care of yourself. Okay? They want you to do what, what you want to do, what you think is best for you. Because they do care about you. And, and I do feel like they want to reciprocate any love or compassion that you've given to them. But if they can't do that through means of a relationship, then they want you to do that for yourself. Okay? 
So let's look at um, some messages, some other messages from your person, and then we will get into you know, what happens if you reach out first. Seeing you reminds me of the things I know deep down, and that's not always easy to deal with. Okay. So if this person's not coming forward, it's because you remind them of things they know deep down it's not easy to deal with. And I'm sorry, I'm sorry I couldn't do right by you. So what they know is that they should take a leap of faith towards you. They know that they um, are not being assertive, that they are not... Um, helping to grow this connection, that they're just sort of sitting idly by and being passive here. And, um, and they know that you deserve better than that. For some of you, this person has gotten spooked in this connection. And that is why, you know, there's distance here. They would definitely get spooked if you, um, you know, stopped waiting for them if you, you know, walked away from this. But um, they are sorry, you know, for not honoring you the way that they should. And so let's look at the next question. What happens if you move towards them? Reach out towards them. Angels, spirits, and guides, what happens if option three reaches out first? if option three reaches out first. You're feeling defensive, right? The thought of reaching out first makes you feel defensive. You feel like you've been through a battle with this person, at the very least some difficulties with this person. Um, but you would reach out because you're tired of there not being action. You just want to see, you want a conclusion to this, <laughs> to this uh, soap opera, uh, if it's been a soap opera, you know what I mean? You want a conclusion to the story, so you would be willing to take action for that reason, just to um, move things forward. I mean, you're ready to put in the work. You're tired of waiting. And we've got three of hearts or three of cups. So let's look at some more cards here. We've got King of Wands, so somebody here is a fire sign, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Regardless of sign, um, if you were to reach out first, it's putting you in control it is um, due to wanting to take initiative. It's due to feeling a passion towards this person. Um, this is somebody that doesn't like to sit idly by. This is somebody that wants, um, this is a go-getter. So, um, I am seeing like, the wanting of a passionate, romantic, and um, loyal partnership. And if this person isn't going to be it, you'd rather know that, you know, sooner than later. You would be empowered to reach out first. Regardless of gender, you would be in your masculine energy to reach out first. We've got the Sun card in reverse. So your person, if you reached out first, they would, um, well, they would like it, okay? They would feel indulged for you to do that. Um, they would feel lucky if you were to reach out first. They would, um, 
It would certainly be a boost to their ego. I feel that they would um, want to have fun with you. They would want to, you know, spend time with you, having fun. But um, they might receive it or respond in a little bit uh, of a superficial way little bit um, from their ego they might want to go out and have drinks with you or something um, they would definitely be indulged by you though it would really um, boost their ego and make them want to have fun and it would make them happy for you to reach out first but they would be a little bit in their ego about it If you're liking the reading so far, please hit the like button and consider subscribing if you haven't already. Two of Cups. So what's the best that could happen um, if you reached out first? The Two of Cups, the beautiful Two of Cups. So, um... Going out on a date, expressing your affection towards one another, sharing feelings, um, raising your glasses together, um, a honeymoon phase. So mutual caring and mutual attraction would be the result. You know, that would be the best that could happen if you were to reach out first, um, option three. So it's looking like, um, you know, you, if you were to wait for this person, it looks like there, there would be, you know, more ups and downs, but eventually you guys could get to a point of agreeing to disagree and maybe even working on the connection. If you were to reach out first, it's looking more positive. Um, I'm seeing more emotion between the two of you. If you were to reach out first, I think it would be satisfying for you to put an end to the waiting. And it would also be, make this person happy. Um, and so I'm going to take this over to Vimeo where I'm going to look at, you know, what's the worst that could happen if you were to reach out first. We see that the, the best that could happen here is that you guys could come together as a couple, could have a reconciliation, could go out and have fun together, um, and really enjoy one another's company, socialize, things like that, share together. Um, but we'll look at, you know, what's the worst that could happen. We'll get some more messages from this person as well as a clarifying um, card. So if you'd like to follow me over there, please feel free to do so. And if not, that's fine too. Thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, if you would uh, like to subscribe, um, please hit the bell icon to receive notifications when I upload a new video. Drop me a comment if this did resonate. And um, if you liked it, please, you know, like, <laughs> like the video. That supports the channel. And I will talk to you next time. Welcome option four, thanks for tuning in. I hope you're doing really well. So let's see, think about your person, the person you came to this reading for. Angel spirits and guides, what happens if option four waits for their person, what happens? I'd like to take a moment to thank everybody who has liked, shared, and sub subscribed. I appreciate that. Those of you who have stuck it out and viewed one of the ads on my videos, Thank you for doing that, even that little tiny bit helps. And for those of you who has followed me over to Vimeo, I appreciate that as well. Thank you so much. So angel spirits and guides, what happens if option four waits for their person? What happens? Shuffle and cut, what happens if option four waits for their person? Right. Um, so right off the bat, I'm seeing that some of you are not in communication with this person, or if you have been in communication with them, there have been arguments or harsh words said. If you continue to wait for this person, I feel like there's a blockage to a new beginning in love in this connection. With the um, Ace of Ace of Hearts here. It did sort of try to come out um, reversed. I don't take that deck in reverse, but I am taking note of that due to the fact that we've got the Three of Swords here as well. So there's some been some sort of obstacle, delay, disappointment, and love here. 
and um, it's like by waiting for this person, you know, you continue to feel that feel that way. I got the nine of wands in reverse. So yeah, there is some delaying of this connection. Maybe somebody's afraid of an ending happening here, and so somebody is trying to prevent that from happening. And if there has been an ending in this connection, somebody is um, resisting moving on from it. Could have been this connection was um, not built on a on a strong foundation or um, there there has definitely been like an argument a fight some sort of conflict here I'm getting I feel like if you wait for this person you could be actually wanting to um, get getting yourself to a point where you feel like the only thing that you can do to improve to improve your life to improve your love life would be to cut your losses. Um, you might feel that things are never going to improve. Um, you know, like it could feel like you're fighting um, a losing battle. And so I feel that you could be just wanting to, um, to move on. Like if you wait for this person, this relationship could end if it hasn't already. Um, it's like there's adjust, adjustments or changes, corrections that need to be made in the connection and that um, they're not being made. So, um, you know, I feel like by waiting and, and not doing anything um, that this connection continues to lose its glow or starts to lose its glow. I really feel like it already has started to lose its glow. So, um you might get to a point where you feel like you guys have finished what you were meant to do together and cut your losses and move on. And we've got the two of swords in reverse. So that's more stagnated energy. I feel that um, your person, if you wait, you know, for a few of them, they could actually stop being stuck in their head about the situation and take some action. You know, what action that is depends on, you know, your connection. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates. But I feel like your person is in, in an air of confusion. Um, whatever imbalance is in the connection or imbalance that is perceived in this connection, you know, this is creating confusion for your person. They do feel imbalanced. Um, so they might just be stuck endlessly, you know, analyzing the situation, not able to see ahead, not able to make a leap of faith in the connection. Again, I'm getting like there's differences of opinion here that have created, perhaps created this, um, the stagnation or this waiting period. Um, your person, I feel, you know, if you waited, you know, they would know that they need to be more open and more honest with you. Um, if they have held more of the power in the connection or if you have held more of the power in the connection then I feel like they would be thinking about that but I don't know that they would do anything about it I feel that um, by you waiting though this person could be feeling like their burdens are lifted so if you're in no contact and you don't do anything and it just stays in a waiting phase they would feel like you know some of the burdens were lifted from them because Especially that would be true if you guys have fought. Um, I guess that this person is, um, and in your waiting period, 
if you wait, um, your person is learning to set boundaries for themselves, um, probably experiencing more freedom in some ways. Um, if they feel imbalanced in the connection with you, this waiting period would help them to restore balance. And regardless, for better or for worse, they would know where the, know where they stand with you, which for some of you it is um, that you're wanting to cut your losses here, that or you're considering cutting your losses here because um, you know you're not getting you know what you want. You're you're not getting your emotional needs met. Um, there's been a delay in this connection, either to you know, it getting started or really getting going. Like it seemed like it was promising when you guys first met, um, but then it's, you know, hit this like stagnation period. It could have been due to the timing not being right, um, but all I'm seeing here is like obstacles, disappointments and limitations leading to you guys feeling frustrated. And I feel like, um, you know, if you wait, then you might cut your loss and cut your losses and they might um, do the same. So what's the best that can happen, Spirit? If the viewer chooses to wait for option four, what's the best that could happen here? We've got the Three of Pentacles in reverse. So um, that's an interesting one to come out in terms of like what's the best that could happen here. I feel like um, an eventual change, okay, where there's a decision that needs to be made for both of you. You guys need to make a decision. Um, about what changes that need to be made in the connection. So in terms of like, what's the best that could happen here? Um, maybe it's that you're just agree agreeing to disagree, realizing that, um, that you guys aren't um, on the same page, realizing that you're not compatible In some ways, that is freeing for both of you because you accept something that maybe can't be changed and that allows you to move on with your lives. Maybe you learn lessons from this connection um, about learning how to make the you know best of your abilities, um, learning how to maybe improve your confidence or improve your talents or your skills. You know, whoever's um, invested more in this connection uh, hasn't really seen their efforts pay off. And so this helps you to learn about boundaries. It really helps your person to learn about boundaries. About um, when to put in more effort and when not to. So that's, you know, a good thing that um, will happen if you wait you will learn as well so what about like what's the worst that could happen if option four waits for this person the worst that could happen got the eight of cups in reverse Well, the Eight of Cups does talk about, you know, walking away, um, somebody taking a leap of faith in another direction, somebody, um, yeah, somebody perhaps behaving like a fool, um, I'm seeing...
you know, if you wait, the worst thing that could happen is that the situation doesn't work, okay? Um, the worst that could happen, you know, as, as odd as it might sound, is um, that you could get another chance, but that's not a good thing if you guys aren't compatible, okay? I feel like uh, if you wait, you could be just wandering aimlessly with no real direction about your path forward. Maybe you become someone who has difficulty committing to any relationship or just longs to escape from relationships. You know, somebody could be, um, you know, holding on to a failed relationship out of fear of being alone when um, what they could be doing is having, you know, an exciting new beginning, taking a new direction, experiencing some other adventure, but instead, you know, they're holding on to something that's failed. So, um, with this Three of Swords and the outcome, there's no sugarcoating that. That is, um, you know, heartbreak. So if you continue to wait for this person, you know the outcome here is heartbreak. Some of you already are heartbroken, so that's not gonna change. If you're already heartbroken, it continues to stay the same if you, um, if you continue to wait for this person, especially if you um, allow yourself to get stuck, allow yourself to um, not accept the ending, not allow yourself to move forward, onto something new, if that's what you're being guided to do. There is some sort of a loss or grieving here that you're experiencing or your person is that, or would if you just like waited and, do, and did nothing else. I mean, I'm seeing like there is potential for, you know, healing um, under certain circumstances for, you know, for a few of you that this connection could maybe be salvaged through work, um, some even through like therapy, somebody who needs therapy, if one of both of you do need that and you took those steps, then that could actually help the connection. Because if you're not a whole person, you can't be in a healthy connection really. But I feel that um, some of you already know that the best way to pull yourself together is to get on with your life and not wait for this person. But let's look at um, a message from your person here. Angel you know, spirits and guides. For option four. Okay. So I want a new start with you. One or both of you um, is wanting a new start in this connection. So that's why you could be having trouble letting this person go or moving on from this person. I act like an asshole because I'm having a harder time than you know. So if you guys are fighting, it's because this person is having a harder time than you realize. Um, I feel like, you know, some of you have been really guarded with this person. You do that to protect yourselves. I feel like this person would want to work on themselves, you know, to make themselves a better person and maybe a better partner, but there's a difference between thinking about it and wanting it and actually doing it. So I'm not sure if they would do that if you waited, but it's possible. This is a general reading, so just take what resonates here. I'm going to get you some unsent messages like I did for the other groups. If you're liking the reading so far, if it's resonating, please um, hit the like button and consider subscribing. Also, if it's resonating, let me know in the comment section down below for option four.
It says, so I know you lurk my social media too. <laughs> okay. So maybe that's all you're doing during a waiting period is lurking each other's social media. You are such a divine gift sent to me. And that does show the potential that exists in the connection. That this person does have feeling for, feelings for you, but um, there's a compatibility issue. So um, also I'm getting like self-worth issues, boundary issues, especially for your person, but probably both of you. Maybe one of you is too guarded, the other one's not guarded enough or Something along those lines. So I'm going to get started with the next question. Angel spirits and guides. What happens if the viewer, if option four reaches out first? What happens if option four reaches out first? We got the jack of spades which is um you know the spy card <laughs> the skeptic card so that's validating the lurking and then um you might be trying to gain um you know information learn something about this person by watching their social media to decide when or if you should reach out to them And then we've got the Ace of Pentacles here. And the outcome. <clears throat> so. What happens? Like, show me um, the viewer's energy if they reach out first. the Emperor in reverse Aries energy regardless of your sign you could be um, an Aries or have that energy so if you, you if you reached out first I feel like um, you would do so begrudgingly like you would do so to try to help the situation along but it's like you're doing it grudgingly like you really want this person to be an equal partner to you, put in equal effort, and it's almost like if you were to reach out first, you wouldn't feel they were doing that. But it would sort of be a load off your mind to reach out because, you know, then you could know, you know, where, they, where you stand with this person. the Hierophant in reverse. So two stubborn energies here. So your person's energy, um, if you reached out first is, well, it kind of goes against the grain of what they were taught, what they were raised to think about relationships and how things in relationships should go. So it's gonna be a challenge for them and their beliefs and their viewpoints, but um, not necessarily in a bad way. It would require them to, um, you know, sort of not care what people think and only like listen to what their own senses are telling them about the situation. I feel like they would be asking themselves, you know, how healthy this connection is, especially if you approach them in this emperor in reverse energy, who can be um, quite, uh, um, what's the right word? Could be like a bear, right? Growly, a little bit, um, well, a lot impatient, quick to anger, so depending on how you approach them, they, um, for a lot of you, they will be questioning like the health of this connection. You 
know, the good that could happen here if you um, reached out first is though a potential for collaboration, a potential for um, working together in a way that benefits you both. So there's a potential for compromise. So um, my battery is getting low and this reading has already been longer than the previous. So I'm gonna go ahead and take this over to, Vi to Vimeo. So if you'd like to follow me, the link is in the description box below. I'm gonna look at what's the good that can, um, or actually, what's the worst that can happen um, if you reach out to this person and then we'll pull some love oracles and some more messages from your person. So if you'd like to follow me, please do. And if not, thank you for tuning in. Um, you know, hit the like button if you liked it. And I will talk to you next time.